What's up, YouTube? Damien here. As you probably saw a little bit ago, we had to quarter these up to make smaller individual picks because we have such a far reach and our capacity's down. So we we're pushing the limits a little bit where we we're gonna have to cut something that looked a bit like a 16 because of the girth. It's like a solid, big, heavy chunk and that would cause them to balance out every single time that we cut them and we didn't want to do that we want to have nice static upward picks that are butt heavy each time so in order to do that we ripped it in quarters and here i am standing on the tops of the quarters here they're all moving freely and individually and uh what i'm going to do is just slide the chains down i'll drop the chains down in from behind like this and then I'll lock them in the front and then maybe I can rotate the clip to the back side so that it actually tips out towards the crane I'll probably start with this one first because this one's closest to the crane and uh, I'll just have to cut in and until my tip gets to the edge of these and then finish off without getting gouged into these other individual ones too much so but yeah, this will make it safer and it'll make it to where we can move a little quicker after we've invested a little bit of time slapping these up. My flip line went down in between the crack and I couldn't get it out. I did it again. How's it feel? Yeah. All right, yeah. Oh, I know. All right, YouTube, there it is. We're that's what I mean by what we're going to do here. We'll have four picks until it gets any shorter. Where I did. So that's my first cut. I'll cut down here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking is. That was hella fun. <laughs> Not too bad. I didn't want to be on that 
outside with how my rope was crossed over because yeah. if somehow my rope clipped into that that open clip I didn't want to be redirected through the heat. My opinion is 50 to 60 percent of capacity is your what you're shooting for. Yeah. Just it's safety mark. You can't set it down. Yeah. You just can't set it back down on this job. No. Tip up. Iris, look. I like pulled. <laughs> I was like, get over here. that one unless you go back and get the foot loop for the other one <laughs> And you know what it might have been actually is the wander. Got a little wander in it, I think. Yeah. So when we ripped it, our five foot bar didn't make it out the other side. And so when we finished the other side with a uh, different saw, we've got some wandering here. And that wandering will be kind of annoying for the crane to, to pop loose. So these butt picks will have to definitely not make them too huge because we'll have to also account for that guy and the um, the wander yeah, yeah I, I was looking I'm like dude there's no way my bar didn't get to the other side, but... Done though. Yeah. 
What's that? It's some sexy wood. Yeah, it is. It'd be cool to be able to do something with it, but. Well, I think I can take these corners and do like I did bar stools in my house. Yeah. So freaking just chainsaw carved out a bar stool. Yeah, because you could like do a few like that and they'd get progressively smaller, but you know, like right in here, you could get a pretty good something. Well, I, I mean, any of these would make a bar stool. Bar stools, yeah. Any of these would make a bar stool. Yeah, bar stools, small benches, little countertoppy things. Maybe, maybe some of the smaller diameter ones I'll throw on my mill and just cut some boards. Yeah, some kind of decorative type stuff, you know, or something. These are actually nice useful lights. Yeah. Give it the old wedge show to open it up. Just enough to get the chain. It could be a roof cut, just depending. Unless it's, unless it's too hard to reach that far. Okay, is that a Hunnicky cut or no? Okay. Um, watch out, the wet, there's two wedges in the top of that. Just make sure they don't whack you in the head or something. If, they fall, they come off there. I'll be able to tell if you're coming through the other side too. picks up and doesn't bang around too much right there it'll probably be fine yeah it didn't even move I would really like to keep this tie in and keep bringing those down a little bit Oh, yeah, yeah. So now I don't have to try and 
get my rope around the tree. all that crap hanging on you. I mean stuff. Slow. Okay, I start giving it to him a little bit. Slow. Okay, we're clear of the gutter. I think we can take it off. Hold it there, August, so we can get the rope off. I got on the back side so it would tip away from Well, he might want us to rip down and take a piece of the tree out. Try to get it down there. keep the customers happy uh, yeah cable straight up just a tiny bit okay right yep yep okay you can boom up hey Aaron bring gas and oil back when you come There you go. Okay, cable up just a tad. Okay, it's up off the ground. Cable up. Cable up a ways. Yeah. I haven't wandered on this. Uh huh. I'm circling it from below. Nice and close on the side.
just things that make you squirm a tiny bit. Uh, yeah, but you're good. You're good. It you're just good. it was just the unknowing of how far it was gonna go is all. Yeah, it's great. Uh, cable up and boom, right? You boom up. That's a wrap. Pretty good sized stump. They're, they're going to grind it still. Five, ten. These are huge growth rings. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. They're tightening up a little bit here more. So like thirty-seven. Getting a little tighter there. So 45, it's about 54 years to here. Then you've got one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then the bark figure at least 10 years there. So 40 plus 54. So, 94 years. I bet a whole lot of people thought it was way older than that. Hey guys, Sam here with MonkeyBeaver.com. Just wanted to show you our latest custom saddle. This gentleman, Antonio, asked for a Guts saddle. Guts is a character, that gentleman right there, from an anime called Berserk. And he said... Kind of the main overlapping theme of this is a solar eclipse. So this fabric that you see we printed right here is actually a picture that Evan, many of you talked to Evan, he's our office guy, he took this picture of the eclipse from here in Oregon last year. It's a pretty cool saddle. All right, guys, let me know what you want to see next. Happy climbing! Monkey people,